Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today we're going to be doing something very cool and that is flying an Airbus A320, but we're going to be using the Thrustmaster line of products, which makes you feel like you're an actual pro. So first off, let's go ahead and jump inside of the cockpit here. Now we have our Thrustmaster TC8 side stick Airbus edition here, and as you can see, with the uh, camera on the bottom right, it looks just like how it looks in real life, which is awesome. And we now have a new product, which is the quadrant, the throttle quadrant. So now we could control our throttles. We could do our reverse throttles. We could control them individually. And it just gives you such a realistic experience. I feel like I'm really flying an Airbus, which is awesome. Now you guys can't see, but below my desk, I also do have the uh, Thrustmaster pedals as well that we are using. And I just have to say, all of this stuff is amazing. It's a major upgrade of what I was using before, which was just a simple joystick. And now we have all of these different peripherals and I feel like I'm really flying an Airbus. I feel like I'm really in the simulator. So from uh, um, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, let's release our brakes. I already pre-mapped all of our buttons on our uh, side stick here. And let's start applying some thrust to get rolling. Now we are at uh, one of my favorite air airports. This is uh, Princess Juliana St. Martin. TNCM, very cool airport. I've been here real life, in real life. I stopped here on a cruise and it was awesome. And I actually got to see an Airbus take off, so we're now doing it in the simulator. So as we get started, guys, I do want to give a huge thank you to Dressmaster for providing us with this awesome equipment today. Like I said, I really feel like I am in here. This is so awesome. May I go ahead and uh, break. And I'm still getting used to using the um, Ooh, the rudder pedals. If you guys see, like, down there, you can actually see when I break, and you can see, like, whichever way I'm steering, which is really cool. So we are going to steer to the right, and let's try to turn this thing around. So this airport is kind of small, but it's a very big tourist attraction, so they get some pretty large aircraft in here. At their prime, they were even getting like 747s and daily, which is awesome. So even though it's a small airport, it has just enough space to uh, get you in and out. Now we're going to be taking off from runway 28, which is actually not the common runway to be taken off from here. Um, but just because of weather, we have a 2 knot wind at, uh, I believe it's at 270, so that's why we are taking off from 280. But we will be doing the more popular approach, which is going to bring us in through runway 10, which is the other side of this runway. All right, so we are ready to go, guys. Um, also, I want to mention, if you guys would like to check out all of these products, you could get them individually or you could buy them as a complete set. I will link them down below in the video description so you guys can check it out if you are interested. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, guys. So let's just double check. Uh, flaps are good. Flaps are set. Everything looks good. All right, so I am going to get ready to go here. I'm gonna go full throttle. Oops. All right, here we go. There, we're gonna go to release our brakes and we are rolling. Takeoff power is set. It's also the first time that I'm flying with my left hand too. I've been flying with my right hand for so long. You know what, I should have my hands on the throttle in case we had to um, abort takeoff for any reason. We are past V1, coming up on uh, VR, so we're gonna go ahead and rotate up. Oh, this thing is just taking off. I feel like I barely even rotated there. That was such a weird takeoff. Let's go ahead and get our landing gear up. So there's, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like a beach right at the end of that runway, and I was actually on that beach in real life. It's so, so cool. And a lot of people like try to um, like do videos and pictures of when the aircraft are taking off and landing. It is so crazy. All right, let's bring this nose back down, guys. 
don't want to gain too much altitude. Okay, there we go. So what we're going to do, we are going to fly, let's see, let's turn to the right. Let's cut back on our thrust a little bit. And let's also get rid of some of our flaps. So that gets us down to, I believe, our flaps one now. Over speed. Over oh. speed. Okay, we don't want to do that. We do not want to do that. Let's watch our bank angle. So I'm using a couple other things today as well. We're using, um, what is it again? Uh, track IR, which is how I'm able to look around like this. And that helps a lot too. That's another great product to check out. Do have a link to that in the video description as well. 2,500. All right, we are actually sinking. So let's go ahead and increase our thrust and just a little. We are pretty light today too, so we actually do not even need too much power. All right, so that's the airport over there. Let's go ahead and make a left turn. We're actually over our speed again. So this whole uh, line of products from Thrustmaster, this is all modeled after the real Airbus A320. So like I was saying, as a side stick, as you guys see right here, it looks the same. It also comes with extra buttons, so you can reverse it if you would like to set it up for the uh, co-pilot side, the first officer side. And then also the throttle, same thing, based off of Airbus, all licensed through Airbus as well, which is awesome. And it makes me really feel like I'm flying this thing, man. They really just set you up for success with all this stuff. It is just so awesome. All right, let's get some nice views out here in the Caribbean. Flying Delta Airlines. I like flying Delta. I actually flew back in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, was it 2004? Um, I used to play, or FS9, some of you guys know it as, I used to play Flight Simulator all the time back then, and um, I was actually in a Virtual Airlines, I was in Delta Virtual Airlines. So that's why I'm like always flying Delta, I just, I don't know, I just like it. I mean, I fly with them in real life, well, not with them, but I fly on them in real life, so pretty nice airline. All right, so let's get ready to come in for our landing. Dress back. We are like so light. I'm at idle and I feel like we're gaining speed still. Alright, runway is to our left. So we're just going to do this approach visually. So no uh, ILS or anything like that. Let's go ahead and add some more flaps in. Just to get ready to slow down. Now let me know down below in the comment section, where else would you like to see me fly to? Uh, where are the places you want me to check out? Oops, forgot to mute my phone. Uh, my phone should be on airplane mode right now, oops. <laughs> All right, we're down to 180. We're gonna give it some more thrust. And let's get ready to come around here. You know what, we actually have to slow down some more because we are much closer. Then I realized we're going to go ahead and give it uh, another thing of flaps there. And let's go gear down to as we get ready to line up for final. We're going to have to increase stress due to increased drag. Now this glare is kind of rough on us here. Alright, I'm going to have to make a uh, pretty hard left turn as we cut for final Over here speed. holy Over crap speed. yo Over we are so light i didn't even i feel like i didn't even give it did i give it much power i gotta go back and look i felt like i didn't well wow. all right let's slow this thing down let's go full flaps here 
And we're going to shoot in our approach speed. I'm thinking about 140. 1,000. Now we are going to have a two knot tailwind pushing us. It looks like there's traffic coming in from the other side too. So we're kind of flying in the wrong way. I mean, this is a, most of the time they come in from this way, but um, due to weather today, the other runway is actually the appropriate runway. Alright, oh, we're sinking. Sink, 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 sink. Don't sink. And there's an aircraft landing on the other side. We're going to continue with our approach, though. This is going to be a little unrealistic. I feel like we set this up so well, I don't want to go around. I mean, I wouldn't say well, but we did okay. And we are both going to touch down at the same time, guys. <laughs> Oh my god, go around, go around, go around. Who's gonna flinch first? Alright. Oh, I wish I could watch this back. Ah, floated too much. Alright, we're gonna hit the reverse thrust. We're gonna hit our spoilers. Spoilers are out. Oh, he went around, he went around. Nice. <laughs> we beat him. He's playing chicken. Big plane beats little plane. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. That was a really good landing. I wish I could watch that back. I felt like we really did a good job. Oh, wait. I should let go of my um, reverse thrust there. Put down those. We'll go ahead and push our rudder pedals down. Oh, the wrong way. Let's go ahead and bring us to a stop. And we did it, guys. Successful landing there, guys. I think we did a great job. Let's try taking off from the other side now. Uh oh. Alright, so there's not much taxiways here, so what you have to do is actually like back taxi. This is so cool with the pedals, like. This is like awesome. That's cool that traffic went around though. I didn't I didn't know if they actually like responded to us like that. Um that was AI traffic there. Alright, let's uh taxi back down. I'm gonna taxi kinda fast so we can clear the runway here. So guys, in the comments section, I would like you guys to go ahead and rate that landing. How did you guys think we did? I think we did really well, for the most part. I think we did great. Another cool thing you could do with the rudder pedals, you could press the brakes individually. So say I want to just press the left brakes, I can go like that. And it's going to make us turn to the left to kind of pretty cool. Let's also give one throttle quadrant power while not doing the other one, which kind of makes us turn as well. So it just makes you feel like you're really flying this thing. And you could use this for any plane. So it doesn't even have to be for the Airbus. You could be flying any plane in flight simulator and it would work out for you. All right, I believe on this side, yeah, we could turn out. So this is where, I, well, I was like right over there when I was watching the plane take off. If I could find a picture, maybe I'll put it in here. I should, you know what? Go subscribe to my vlog channel, guys. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my vlog channel, it is Ace on the Move. Go, oh, I'm so used to doing that. Go subscribe to Ace on the Move, guys. And you'll see some of my videos from that vacation over there. Now, I did something I didn't mean to do. I went and controlled the throttle here. So if you only get the joystick, you could buy these things separately or you could buy them together. So if you only get the joystick, you could uh, control your throttle with this. And then there's also a little clip here. I have it engaged now, but if I 
unengage it, then you could go ahead and control your rudder pedals like this too. So you don't need the rudder pedals and stuff, but it does make it feel a little bit more realistic. So you could get this by yourself, you get this by yourself, you get the pedals, or you could buy the whole set. All right, so let's get ready for a, another takeoff here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and reset our flaps for takeoff. And uh, what else we have to do? Oh wait, I didn't realize my buttons are kind of messed up. One's, is this engine off? Let me go ahead and put that forward. <laughs> but yeah, we have other stuff here. We can go ahead and crank the engine, normal mode, ignition slash start. Um, you can also pair these together too. So say if you want to fly like an A340 or like an airplane with four engines, you could get two of these, put them side by side, and there's like something here that says one, two, or three and four, and then you could like pair them together, and then you could have control of all four engines individually, which is pretty cool too. All right, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and try for another takeoff here. This time we're gonna take off from runway ten. I feel like this plane just is ready to move. So I was standing like right there watching the planes take off and land. It was so cool. This is awesome. Wow. I feel like I, I just feel like I know I keep saying it, but I just feel like I have so much control over the aircraft. All right, let's uh, move forward just a little bit more. Okay, brakes, okay, here we go. All right, everything is ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and go to takeoff power. Right, release the brakes. I keep forgetting I should keep my hand on the throttle in case we have to abort takeoff and hit reverse thrust. Alright, here we go. Rotate it kind of late there, so we got to get over this mountain. Let's go ahead and raise our landing gear. Go ahead and uh, get flaps up a little bit. There's not really a cruise ship over there, too. I think the last time I played, or I might think I may be thinking of another airport. I think I was flying at St. Bart's and I saw a cruise ship in um, the simulator last time I was playing. All right, uh, flaps are at one. Let's bring the flaps all the way up. All right, let's see if we could do one more landing here, guys. Gotta push that nose down. Bring back our throttle as we level out. Go ahead and take that off there. There's so many places I want to try flying in this game, too. Oh my goodness, we're going 280. Good thing we're not in America. Even though I think that is a universal rule that you're not supposed to go over 250 under 10,000. I think it's a universal rule, I'm not too sure. I haven't really been in the whole flying scene in so long. I kind of forgot so much stuff that I used to know.
All right, so we're gonna try to make a couple left turns in a couple of miles and then line up for final again. Really do hope you guys are enjoying this video. By the way, if you guys are, do me a favor, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button, leave some comments down below, subscribe if you are new, also hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Let's try to get this bird down. Yeah, let's start our left turn. I feel like I'm doing really good flying with my left hand. Like I said, I, I've been flying so long with my right hand for years that I'm just, I have the muscle memory with my right hand. But it feels pretty cool using my left hand. See if we could find a runway. Okay, I think I kind of see it. That's not something you want to hear from your pilot, right? I kind of see the airport. Kind of. Okay, yeah, I definitely see it now. Alright, let's go ahead and start adding in flaps. See some traffic, it looks like it's on the runway again. Hopefully they're cleared by the time I get there. We're pretty high up, 3,000 feet. We gotta lose some of this altitude. I just pressed the button by accident. I don't even know what I just pressed. I'm a little bit worried. Okay, I didn't engage my spoilers. I thought that's what I did. Was it my parking brake I set? Is that what that button was? Let me see. Oh, I don't know what I did. All right, let me just focus on landing. All right, landing gear is down. Flaps are down. 1,000 to go. Let's see if I can line up a little bit better here. We are high. We are gonna have that two knot tailwind again. We are on, but we're sinking now. I always do that. I'm coming in way too fast. 
I had to get better at like staying on the glide slope. I'm up, I'm Ooh. down, I'm up, I'm down, I'm up, I'm down. Coming in way too high. This would be a go around. 100. 60. 50. 40. 30. 20. Retard. Drive. Ah, I did so much better on the first one. That landed I'm not too proud of. I should show you guys the reverse thrust too. Look at that. That was awesome. Oh, we got traffic here. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get around him. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna scoot over this way. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys thought about it um, down below in the video description. Like I said, if you're looking for new um, stuff to fly with, definitely check this out. You can use this in Microsoft Flight Simulator plus other flight simulators and games as well. But um, yeah, guys, um, if you want to check it out, link is in the video description again. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get this aircraft cleaned up. And yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know also where should we fly to next? What do you guys want to see me do in Microsoft Flight Simulator? Let me know. But again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.